Hello and welcome to the Curra for the big one, the 19th running of the Budweiser-sponsored Irish Derby. Hello and welcome to sunny Leopardstown for what can conservatively be termed a special day's racing. It's Guinness Galway Hurdle Day and we must all find a winner. But hey, it's Ladies' Day. <laughs> Roberts, I suppose, as long as I'm watching wrestling TV, has always been the presenter. Throughout Ireland and beyond, the name Robert Hall is revered as a man knowledgeable, respected. If you could use one phrase to describe Robert Hall, unflappable. I grew up watching Robert Hall. He was the voice of Irish racing for me. So Robert was unique in the sense that he had a great knowledge of a, of a good few sports, but he had a great passion for racing. Robert, what do you think of the Irish chances? Well, I think that the first horse you've got to start with is probably Grease Paint because he's done nothing wrong. He's been second twice and he was beaten by the ground last year when he finished fourth. And if the ground's right for him on Saturday, you know, he's one that they're all going to have to beat. I'm still down for three days. Horses, three days for trying too hard. Horses mark differently, don't they? Yes. You reckon that he's a light-skinned horse? He's one of the ones should mark. Christy Roach, confused and angry, I think. Willie, 10 out of 10, what a horse. Ah, fantastic. I mean, did it the hard way today. You're trying to get a kick there, Robert. Robert's always fantastic. Uh, his knowledge of racing, his knowledge of breeding. Um, you know, he'd been, he's straight up every day, calls it as it is. Um, always been a good foil for Ted Walsh. So two of them are a great pair on TV. I wouldn't have been much good at anything else, so I don't know what it'd be. Priest! <laughs> yeah, you've been a good priest, all right. <laughs> I'd hate to have you in my parish, that's for sure. Paul, what a day for you. That must be the biggest success of your career. It definitely is, and it's great that I wrote it for my father as well, I know. The connections to your owners and everything was brilliant. It would only be the, the odd occasion when you'd be lucky enough to ride a big winner, you would get to go up on the podium and be interviewed by him. And I suppose himself and Ted are a partnership that uh, everybody is, you know, it's definitely synonymous with the sport. Many, many congratulations. What a race and what a horse. Yeah, uh, geez, he's tough out, Robert. You galvanise him here and he responds right away. And I mean, it's as if he's seen the leader in his sights and says, I'm going to get you. Yeah, he's about as clever a horse as you'll ever see. And he knew himself that when he was getting to the other fella, he was in with a chance and he loves winning. Ted and Robert Hall, they were the Oprah Winfrey's of Irish racing. He took his job very serious, probably a lot more serious than I do. And I used to pull his leg in that time over something that wasn't really going to happen. Especially when I brought in that ass Ted, he'd think up a few hairy ones himself that had nothing to do with it. Questions that he'd want to ask, but fortunately I was able to give him some sort of an answer along the way. Jimmy Williams says, uh, what's your favourite emoji, Ted? Emoji. <laughs> I don't know what an emoji is. I drive a Toyota, I don't know what an emoji is. <laughs> This actually legendary concept, which is young jockey makes breakthrough at Galway races, they're as excited about passing the post in front as they are about being wheeled out to meet Robert Hall. And at that moment, you see it's like the zenith point. They think, OK, actually now it's game on. And what does a win like this mean to you? Oh, it's brilliant. It actually means a lot because I only crashed the car last week, so I need for something to pay for it. <laughs> He's able to be an expert opinion for everybody who knows anything about racing, and equally for the person sitting on the couch who hasn't the first clue, he's able to include them all. And I think that's a really underrated quality, uh, particularly in a broadcaster. That's it. We've won the Nations Cup, we've won the Aga Khan Trophy. That is absolutely fabulous. It's a fantastic position, isn't it? You know, I mean, we've taken all the pressure off ourselves. We can go to Athens in the right frame of mind. Wonderful double player from Billy as well. And uh, what more can you say? Many moons ago, Robert rode a horse in a charity race for my father in Pontchastown, a mare called Lady Midas. And I did lead him up. And I still think to this day he should have won on her. Hold on now, hold on. Uh, Frank Berry's in front of me, but look who's behind. The likes of Tommy Carberry, John Joe, Arthur Moore, Oliver Sherwood. I have to say, I'd like to have ridden her a little bit more vigorously, but I thought I was Lester Pickett on the day. My memory today is wondering how everyone else got Tommy Carberry and Frank Berry and we got you. <laughs> Kevin Mayo says, are you and Robert friends or is it strictly professional? <laughs> really and truly we're lovers, <laughs> we're lovers. <laughs> there you are, you got it. I've been friendly with Robert. I think the first pony Robert ever had was a pony called Ruby that his father bought off of my father uh, for Robert and his sisters, and he called it Ruby. So it goes back, our relationship goes back that length of time. For the last year and a half to get to stand beside him and basically serve an apprenticeship beside the ultimate pro has been one of the greatest privileges of my life. Robert Hall, what a pair of hands to have on the reins over the years and through the ages. The respect that the sport has for that man, peerless. I admire your honesty, I love your bravery, you're a credit to your profession. You're an inspiration. Mark Enright is a heck of a guy.
Thank you very much. This is a great knowledge, whether it be horse racing or show jumping or event running. Oh, it's great, man, to watch on television, and he'll be sadly missed. He will be missed because Robert is a racing fan, and Robert always did his best to promote the good of our sport. And I think every sport needs presenters like that. And I've worked with him for 30 years, and uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, I'll be sorry that I'm now working with him, but I'll still be friendly with him. We'll still have the cup of tea and the chat and everything else. So I'll, other than working with him, not else will change. Sorry to see Robert going. Uh, so I wish him the best in your retirement, Robert. Well, they were the races here from Galway. But that's where we're going to have to leave you. From us here, Naughty. Bye-bye.